All right, well, another one of those days. And by those days, I mean those days where I should be doing all sorts of other things that are more constructive. But I get distracted and I gotta work on something that's been bothering me. So in this case, I am covering all of my garden beds with this black fabric to essentially solarize them. I don't know if it's essentially or actually. Um, but basically, you guys know, um, I've been extremely busy this year building my house and everything else. And unfortunately, my garden beds have taken the toll of that. So they've all grown up in weeds. I've got some asparagus over here that is doing good actually, despite the weeds. And tomato monster over there that's doing okay, a volunteer tomato, but the rest of it's all grown up in weeds. And I don't have the time to try to weed it all and till it all and maintain it. I didn't even plant a garden. So what I'm doing now is just going through stretching this black plastic over. This is actually geotextile fabric um, left over from when I did the driveway out at the farm. But it should work. It, uh, it certainly won't let light penetrate and um, it'll get good and hot under there. But it will let some moisture penetrate. So it's actually better than just straight up black plastic which would be moisture proof. Anyway, I'm stretching this out over the beds, let the sun do its thing, cook the weeds, and uh, let them, you know, let all the weed seeds germinate that are in there and break down. And uh, hopefully, in about a month or so, I'll be able to peel these off and actually plant a fall garden. That's my goal. So for now, just going through and uh, just going through and laying out bricks. It's real, you know, real rough. Nothing about this is perfect. Um, it got me thinking. I don't know what, you know, you see some of these guys like Curtis Stone. Um, I like to watch him a lot. He's uh, uh, he's always, you know, tarping his beds. And I don't know what he's actually buying that's his garden tarp. But it may be the same stuff as this. I really don't know. But this, this I think, is going to work. As long as this is UV stabilized, which I'm not sure if it is or not because it's normally covered up with rock or soil. Uh, if this is not UV stabilized, we'll find out real quick because it'll break down. But anyway... Just going through and just real rough laying it out, holding it down with bricks. The actual sides of my bed here are too rotted out. Uh, those treated timbers, you know, they almost made it five years. But they're too rotted out to even put a, put a nail in to hold it down. So I'm just setting bricks on it to weigh it down. And uh, yeah, this piece should be um, 12 feet wide, which at three beds that are each four feet wide, which I don't even know what I'm going to do with this middle bed. That's the asparagus monster there. And uh, the volunteer tomato plant is in here. This thing has just been blowing and going all summer. I haven't picked a single tomato off of it. I mean, they're on there, but I forget, and they fall and rot off. There's some little dried up ones, but there's some green ones still putting on. It just keeps doing its thing. Heck, I've chopped it back with a weed eater. It keeps coming back. Um, ultimately, I'm trying to get all this stuff ready to where we can sell the house. No one's going to want to buy raised beds full of weeds. Well, there's work calling. Okay, so anyway, I don't remember what I'd even told you guys or was talking about, but... Ultimately, I'm trying to get this beat back. I don't have the time or the effort to put into it to try to pull all these weeds and do everything. So I'm just going to get them knocked back and basically let, you know, let the solarization do its thing. Kill all these weeds off and hopefully, like I said, I can peel it off in about a month here. And uh, just be able to till it real quick because the weeds will all be dead and mostly broken down, ideally. Um, which, I mean, the fall garden, it's, it's August for me. So a fall garden for me is not going to go until late September, middle October anyway. So I got plenty of time if it takes a little longer. But really ultimately trying to get this presentable that hopefully another fellow gardener, you know, is somebody that's interested in buying this house because we're hoping to move to the farm in the next, you know, month or two. So once we get moved out of this place, we need to get it sold. And I promise you, there will be way cooler garden beds than this once we get settled out at the farm. But anyway, tarping it off and uh, hopefully I'll remember to make a video when I pull the tarp. And we'll see what it looks like. But if I don't, you guys can go find somebody else's videos. I'm sure somebody showed it. Curtis shows it all the time. There you go with the first one tarped off. You can see it's not perfect at all. It's all wrinkled on the edges. Ideally, I'd let it overlap all the way to the ground. Um, but I'm kind of conflicted with this little sprinkler system that I have on here, which is broken anyway. Half the sprinkler heads are busted off from me hitting it with the string trimmer or whatever. But I didn't want to just rip it out just yet. Um... I might probably decide to do that later. But anyway, so I didn't, you know, drape it over it. The thing is, the roll's 12 feet wide, like I said, and three garden beds each four feet wide. It's going to be the perfect size. 
if I need more, I've got plenty more out of the farm, so that's not a problem. I'm just trying to be stingy. Uh, but anyway, this will do, you know, 95% of it. There'll be a little bit rattle on the edges that'll try to still grow out in the sun, but the bulk of it will all be done anyway. And um, I don't know, that might be the only one I do for today because I've got to probably fire up the string trimmer and actually knock this stuff down a little bit before I try to solarize those. Anyway, but that's the rest. Uh, the roll was like, this garden bed is 22 feet long, I think, and the, the scrap that I cut off was probably 35 almost or something like that. So I got two pieces now. I've got my eight foot wide piece that's 20 some odd feet long, and then I've got the scrap, which is, you know, 10 feet by 12 feet or whatever. So I can use it too, actually, if I need to make, to fill in little holes. But anyway, that's that one for now. And um, probably not gonna show you when I do the other one, not too worried about it. But I'll hopefully try to remember, like I said, to show you when I peel it off, how well it worked.